Hello chess friends, today I am gonna show you Stockfish 16 beta vs Double Magnus Carlsen game. What? What is Double Magnus Carlsen? Well, Magnus Carlsen with his Magnus series age 31 will play against Stockfish 16 beta. Game rule is very simple, if Magnus play a wrong move but his bot finds a best move then the computer will select the best move against me. Let's go, Magnus and Magnus bot started with e4, I played c5, knight develops on c3. You can play e6, knight c6, and a6 main line, I chooses to play knight c6. They both agreed with knight f3, we have e5, bishop comes on c4, bishop goes to e7, Magnus here played d3, we have d6, Magnus played knight g5, and his bot says, ok no problem, but there is a problem, you down one advantages. And first thing first you have to take the knight, otherwise knight will take the pawn with the supporting of the bishop. So, we have bishop takes knight, queen comes on h5, targeting the bishop with queen and bishop and threatening mate in one. So, I played bishop e7, if you check me, the eye will escape, the bishop is a barrier for the queen, right? Magnus says, do your best, I will take the pawn, king escapes on d7, you can play bishop e6 check, but there is no big advantages actually, king goes to c7, knight d5 check, and king b8, the king is very safe here, even queen takes g7 is not a big threat, knight f6 and everything is protected. So, back to the position, we have queen takes g7, targeting on the rook, so, knight f6. Magnus bot chooses to play castle, but best was to play f4, but Magnus played a wrong move bishop g5, thinking he is threatening the knight, bishop can't take it because the bishop is pinned to the king. But there is queen to f8 move, and you have no choices, you have to exchange your queen. The more pieces you exchange, the more winning chances you create for me, because you are down a knight. Magnus here played bishop h6, knight back to e8. You can't run away your queen, otherwise you will lose your bishop. Magnus is learning from my strategies and tactics, he is improving his chess skills by watching my videos, and what are you doing? Don't just watch my videos, please give a like to this video, and subscribe to the channel. Queen takes queen, I played bishop takes queen, bishop runs on e3 square, knight goes to c7, king up to d2, I played h4, I am threatening to play bishop h4, and knight a5. So, they played g3, threatening to play f4, do your worst, let me play b3, he played f4, bishop comes on b7, f5 closing the position, knight jumps into d4, rooker goes to f1, bishop goes to h6, we have bishop takes h6, I played rook takes h6, they chooses to play h3, they want to play this, I pushed my b-pawn, bishop goes to b3, rooker goes to h8. Rook h8, I played a5, bishop goes to f7, king e7, targets the bishop, they played bishop g6. c4, d captures on c4, b captured c4 pawn, knight back to d1, you might think, this is a free pawn, for example, bishop takes pawn, then f6 check, king up to e6. Bishop takes bishop, and the position will be equal. So, in this position, we have king d8, c3 by double magnus, knight goes to e6, if you take the knight, then you will lose your bishop, so we have knight e3, knight goes to g5, targeting the pawn, knight captured on c4, knight takes e4 check, bishop goes to a6, rook goes to e1. Knight goes to e6, you still can't take it, because of this. It will be 3 versus 2, and the game will be very short. But Magnus here played rook d1, his bot is a bot like him, he didn't find the best move, best move was rook here or play a4, so, I get a chance to play bishop c6, targeting both of these rooks. So, he sacrificed his rook.
Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.